get used to taxiing. Sure, use your feet to taxi. Uh, Elons don't do anything on the ground. Uh, they do hold the wind down, though, if you get a big wind or something. You'll hold the aileron into the wind to keep, that wind, uh, keep the wind down so it doesn't pop up on you. Other than that, you're using the feet to steer with. When you get to the end, hang a right. Might give it a little bit more throttle. Yeah, and then just quits moving on you. There you go. That's it. Just keep your hand on the throttle. You might need to use it. Stay to the right here? Uh, uh, to the left. Just follow it all the way around. We're going out to the runways out here. Just keep it straight. Then your first taxi where you come to, hang a right. We're still on the tarmac, they call it right now. And if you look at the signs there in front of you, it says 3517, so 17 is down here on the right. Okay, that's where we're going, 3517? Uh-huh, so we're going to 17, so we're going down at this end down here. So it tells you way end is which way. Buckeye area traffic air van 9 or 82, 9 of Bravo is departing runway 17 at Golfer. Right down with departure to the north. We'll be climbing up to 6,000 and 1, 4, 14,000. Feet the jumps over Buckeye. First jumps commence in 5 minutes. Use caution, Buckeye. So that's the jump plane. Okay. That's the one on the Buckeye traffic. Yep. Uh, I just told him he's going to take off at that, that golf intersection. And, uh, and he's on the runway and he'll be going. So we're going all the way to the end down here, and then there's a run-up area on your right. So when you get to the end, uh, just go to that run-up area on the right. Buckeye traffic, here's 851 Echo Foxtrot, turning right downwind for runway 17, Buckeye traffic. There you go a little faster if you want. There you go, you heard the engine pick up. Yeah, taxiing is what I'm uh, not used to doing. Uh-huh. Uh, I practice it on the simulator, but it's completely different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, on this, uh, you could just kind of put pressure on that pedal, and it'll pretty well do what you want it to do, you know. You don't have to get too wild with it at all. Because it's so sensitive, it's got that steerable nose wheel. I see that. And so it's pretty sensitive. Uh, I just tell everybody, you know, if you want to go right, kind of lean your body or lean your body. Similar right. air for a guy. Uh, Cessna 8283, uh, inbound for And if you want to go left, put a little left pressure on it. Yeah. But it's really easy. Buckeye area traffic air van, 982, 9 of Bravo is turning a right cross in 17, right down, land departure to the north, we're 2,000 feet climbing, Buckeye. It's real easy to step on the wrong pedal, okay? First, first few times out, I screwed up, I was over on the... Okay, you, so we're not turning here? No, we're going all the way to the end, the way, and yeah. right. you're going to go to the right uh, when you get there, and there's a uh, little black top area with a big line. Okay. We're going to go behind that line, and we'll do our pre-takeoff checklist. Alright. Looks like there's a lot of cracks on the runway right here. That's a pretty good one right there. Yeah. That's another one. <laughs> We're going to have to get out here and fill okay, these cracks. Traffic, here's 851 Echo Foxtrot turning right base for runway 17 Buckeye traffic. So there's somebody turning final now, and they're going to be coming in on 17. All right, so just go here behind this double line over here on the right. So just go over here to the right. There you go. 
then I come around and I usually face the runway so I can see who's coming in. And I just stay behind the line. There you go. Okay, that's kind of behind the line. All right. Almost. All right, so cigars T is how I remember the checklist. And C on the cigars is controls. So you just grab the controls and move them forward and aft and left and right, back and forth and see uh, if they're smooth. So just grab the controls and move them back and forth, left and right. And you're looking for any jamming or anything of that sort because when you get off... <laughs> what about this fuel? All uh, right, the fuel gauge is not working, so that's why I'm timing this flight. Okay. Um, that's the guy coming in? Yep, uh-huh. So? But Yeah, that's a good question, though. It doesn't look good, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> the uh, cigar is T, so C is controls. I is instruments. Your RPM is 2190, somewhere in there. Your altimeter is set. Uh, Air speed is up there. Uh, and, and the fuel gauge, like I say, is something that's not working. Okay. Now the uh, two uh, cylinder and exhaust gas gauges are on the left. And you can see they're kind of dead right now. They don't come alive until oh, we get, the yeah, or until we get some power into it. Okay? okay. So that's the instruments. G is gas. Uh, I've checked the fuel. We've got six gallons of fuel. Do I have to do anything with the fuel pump switch? Nope. We're running on a regular uh, vacuum switch right now. Vacuum pump. Vacuum if we were to lose power, we would throw that switch on, okay? All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Gas, instruments, gas. A is your attitude. Hopefully you feel like flying. You're not sick or you have a, your wife has a beat up on you or anything. All right. So that's attitude. R is run up. So you'll hold the brake and you'll bring the RPM up above 3,000 RPM. So and then you'll lock it. All right, that's probably enough right there. Let's see what it does. There you go. Now just lock it in there somewhere. Oh, drop back a little bit. So just give it a here. Listen for the engine to pick up a little. Just give it a little bit more throttle. Yeah, there you go. All right, that should be enough. Just lock it in there. All right, well, let's stabilize for a minute. That tack takes a little while. All right, reach up and turn it one notch to the left on the on the uh, ignition. Okay, I think there's eight. I want to go box try three miles south. Final call, but I drop it. Ah, uh, just one notch to the left, and I'll tell you what my tack says here. Just I'll let it stabilize. We're showing about twenty-seven sixty. Go back to both, and I should get our RPM back. And we're coming up to about almost 3,000, 29.50. All right, go two notches, and you tell me what yours says. Okay. Buckeye area traffic. We got parachutes up top of the Buckeye Airport, 6,000 feet below. Do not overfly the Buckeye Airport or east side of the PL1 additional jumpers in about eight minutes, one 4,000. Buckeye. Okay, it's 2,800 RPM. Yep, I had about 27.60 or so, so we were very close. Okay. Go back to both again, the other way. There you go, both, good. All right, uh, you can throttle back if you want. That's the, uh, that's the mag check they call that. You're checking both mags, all right? All right. Seat belts is next, and trim set for takeoff, and uh, we'll leave the trim about where it is. I think you're about the same weight as the other guy that flew yesterday. So we'll just leave it right there, yeah, the trim. Oh, uh yeah, oh, okay. screw that up, makes the nose come up. All right, go ahead and hang it to the right, and we'll pull up to that hold short line, and I'll make a radio call.
Scott Traffic, Challenger 7 Bible Whiskey. We're ready to take runway 17 at golf. Is there anybody uh, in final? Uh, we're going straight out. Just stop right here. See that little double short line, that uh, double line that you just crossed? If you did that at a towered airport, they would write you up and uh, you would have some remedial, remedial training, I guess they call it. All right, we're looking good. Go ahead and taxi straight ahead. Buckeye traffic, Challenger 7 Bravo Whiskey taking runway 17 straight out. Buckeye traffic. All right, you got it. So just take it around the corner and line up. And start putting the power in. You're going to need a little bit of right rudder probably. It's going to want, want to wander to the left on takeoff. And when you hit about 50 miles an hour indicated, just bring the stick back and we'll climb out at 50. And I'll back you up, so don't worry about it, okay? So, all right, you're all lined up, so you just start putting some power in and then go full power. There you go. Now you can go full power. All the way in. Uh-huh. Full power. There you go. Okay, about 50. Go ahead and pull it off. There you go. Just level her out right here. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Hold your hand on that throttle because if it backs off, you're going back down. All right. All right. Uh, you got it right there. I'm going to give it to you. It's all yours. Buckeye okay, area traffic, parachute out, parachute blow up again. Up to the airport. There you five go. It's 1 4,000 feet. Pull back a little bit. We'll fly Buckeye or east side of the field. Buckeye traffic. Full power, yeah. we got to go full power, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to go down. You want to go up. There you go. And you're doing 60, so we'll pull back the nose a little bit. We work our way to 50. There you go. Hold it right there for a while. Got it? Keep your hand on that throttle, yeah. That's it. Just straighten it out. If it gets out of, you know, wants to go one way or the other, just straighten it out. Just keep climbing, we're going to go to 2,000 feet. We're about 1,700 right now. We'll go a little bit higher than 2,000. We'll go about 22 or 23. How's that? We'll get a little bit more altitude. Okay, when we get up to altitude, you just kind of level out a little bit and then we'll bring the power back. Go ahead and up, yeah, just bring the power back a little bit and level out. Just a little bit at a time. There you go. Hold the nose level. All right, you're about 5,400. Drop the nose just a hair more. There you go. Okay, just a little more RPM. There you go. Just lock it in right about there. Good. All right, 
Now you can set the trim on the airplane by just kind of releasing the stick a little bit, telling you which way the nose wants to go. Uh, I'll give you a little down trim here. Buckeye area traffic, parachute operations will begin on top of the uh, Buckeye Airport in two minutes. We'll fly level for a little 4, bit. 4,000 feet below, do not overfly to Buckeye Airport or east side of the field, Buckeye traffic. And then check it again. Which way does the nose want to go now? Uh, field level. Good. We'll just leave it right there. Just continue straight ahead for a while, and uh, we'll get away from the airport. We're still climbing a little bit, so bring the nose down just a little. There you go. Speed's around 60. Yeah, you should be about 65, somewhere in there, 65 to 70 at this RPM setting. Right. If you're less than that, you're probably going to be climbing. And it gets colder the higher we go. <laughs> but you're okay, you got a nice shirt and everything on, you'll be going to be fine, okay? We'll just take it out here a little bit, and then we'll do a few turns and kind of get you used to the airplane. Kind of exciting on the takeoff, huh? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the hardest part for me. Yeah. About five miles to west, we're going to be maneuvering at 45 for a race. Yeah. Because I have trouble keeping it straight on the runway. I'll make a radio call and tell them what we're doing. Buckeye right. traffic, Challenger sub bubble. This is about two and a half miles south of the airport, maneuvering at 2,500. 657 with the miles to the southwest. Uh, we are at 2,000. Now, what we usually do is what they call clearing turns, and what you do is you'll turn about 45 degrees to the left and then 45 degrees to the right, and what you're doing is you're looking for airplanes, okay? So just kind of hang a small turn to the left, look under our right wing, look under our left wing, and we're just looking, you know, look a front, of course. And that looks good. Hang a right, we'll go about 45 degrees more, or 90 now, and uh, we'll check the other direction. Again, we're just looking for aircraft, okay? Buckeye area traffic parachute operations have begun up top of the Buckeye Airport, 1442,000 feet below, do not overfly the Buckeye Airport, or east side of the field, Buckeye traffic. Ah, you're looking pretty good, Dave. Now to make a, a nice level turn, you kind of look, look at the horizon. Now the horizon is where the sky meets the mountain tops. And you can kind of, you're pretty close to level now. You kind of see about where that is above the dash of your airplane. It's maybe a couple inches or so above your dash is where the sky meets the mountain. And what you're trying to do is make your turn and keep that same look over the dash all the way around the turn. So let's go to the right, do the little right pedal, and just watch that horizon all the way around. There you go. That's a nice, easy turn. Just try that. Take it all the way around. And what you're doing is you're watching that horizon. And that'll keep you pitched. Uh, the same all the way around and give you a nice level turn. Now if you start seeing a lot more ground, then you're diving. If you see too much sky, then you're climbing. Okay? Pretty nice. Just keep it turning. If it comes out of the turn, put it back in the turn again. And I, I try and hold that same angle of bank all the way around if I can.
And when you get to where you started, you just level out again. All right, try one to the left. Little left rudder, little left aileron to get it into the turn. And then uh, hold the turn. There you go. Watch that horizon all the way around. Look at traffic here, man. 92 and Bravo, run about a mile and a half, 45, right traffic, 17, Buckeye. Keep the bank angle the same with the aileron. So if it comes out, put it back in with the aileron. Okay. There you go. Alright, there you go. Just level out right here for a while. Buckeye area traffic here, man. 982 net above us, turn right base, 17, full stop, Buckeye. You just hang a right turn for a second, and we'll follow this green river bottom for a while. You see it? And you can see it kind of goes out and around the corner down there. So just follow it and see if you can follow the river bottom. You're diving the airplane a little bit, so there you go, just level out. If you watch that horizon, Look at you'll your see that. Look at you, man. short final and stuff. Full stop, okay. Look at traffic here, just expect on the roof, you're going to be part of the south end of the ride. Alright, I'm going to look at the roof. How do you read this radio? Uh, Clean the nose up just a little bit, there you go. Right about like that. Good. When you get above 80 on this airplane, it starts to shake a little bit, so I try and keep it below 80. Thank you. Buckeye okay, traffic caravan, 9829 Bravo's clear, runway 17 match early, taxi to the ramp, Buckeye. Okay. All right, you can just relax for a while, it's all yours. And, uh, how do you feel? Are you kind of a little nervous, I imagine, huh? <laughs> I'm very nervous. Alright. And if you want me to take it for a while, I'll be happy to. So you just uh, try and relax. Fly straight for a while. Just kind of relax. I'm, I'm not used to all these... Uh, uh, I think it's the air blowing around that I'm not used to. Yeah. Yeah, you're still a little fast. You're doing about 80. Let me... Uh, do a little up trim here for you if I need to. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. If you're down in at about 70 range or so, you should be fine. What if I uh, lower the engine speed? Yeah, that works too. Uh, you can back the power down. We are uh, about pretty close to about where we should be, so I'd probably leave that alone. So you can always watch the pitch of the airplane by looking over the dash and get a good idea. And look out. You know, you're supposed to enjoy yourself here. It shouldn't be that stressful for you. I want you to relax. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's uh, pretty scary for me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, just be 
ready to take the controls. No problem. You, you had the controls okay. uh, from the beginning, okay? Oh, all right. So I haven't done once in a while I'll pull back or something where you get too much speed up, but other than that, I haven't touched the controls, so. It's, it seems like it's less bumpy up here in the higher altitude. Yeah, it doesn't seem so bad up here, does it? No. That's good. I don't like bumpy. No, me either. <laughs> okay, traffic here then. 982, 905 is taxing up over ramp up to Dell, the one sub, Buckeye traffic. All right. We've got the airplane, so if you see somewhere you want to go, uh, something you want to look at, you just go over that way and do whatever you want. How's that? You know I can't read your mind, so... <laughs> a little turbulence there. So all you do is just kind of hold it level and get through the turbulence. That's all you can do. Kind of ride with it is all you do. Alright. That's what bothers me is the bumpiness. Yeah, and I don't blame that. Uh, nobody likes to get trashed, you know. There's an airplane way down to your right down there by the fields. I don't know if you can see him. I see him. Yeah. What's he doing? Crop testing? <laughs> I don't know, he's low enough to, but I don't think he I don't think he is. I think he's just flying low. That's too low. <laughs> So you're doing fine, just kind of relax, and just take your time, and just hold everything steady. You know, the airplane pretty much will fly itself. If you take your hand off the controls, you'll see that. It, it's really kind of stable, you know. Okay, area drive here, then that above is departing 17 at golf, right down way departure to the north, pulls the cover north, Buckeye up to 1, 1,000 and 1, 4,000 feet for jump, Buckeye traffic. All right, try it again. Still want to climb a little? All right, I'll give you a little bit more. Get it nice and level. We'll get it nice and smooth. And then check it again. Still want to go on. Huh? Three. Make a turn around and we'll kind of head back to the old fields where we started. How's that? Okay. Well, you won't get too far away. Buckeye traffic caravan, 98290 Bobos, 2000 feet turn to right cross and 17 right down with the partner to the north of Buckeye. There you go. We dive in a little bit. There you go. Watch that horizon as you come around. There you go. That'll keep you nice and smooth. <laughs> Again, you see your airspeed? There you go. So just watch that horizon above the dash and you'll kind of tell if you're going down or not.
they say the skydivers were um, west of the field or east? Uh, they're east of the field, so we're fine. Okay. Okay. There's not going to be any of them out here anyway, so we'll... Now, right in front of you, out there, those white buildings in front of you, that's the uh, Hickman's Egg Ranch, where they get all your eggs from the chickens. Oh. That's that Hickman's uh, Egg Ranch out there. Okay. I thought that was the airport. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're quite a ways from the airport. So we've been up about a half an hour so far, a little bit more than a half an hour, but that's fine. All right. Just giving a rough idea. Okay, we're heading back. So we're going to head out. Head a right, we'll go out over these fields for a while. How's that? All right. It doesn't take us long to get back. It only takes us probably about five or eight minutes to get back from here. About eight minutes, maybe. Buckeye traffic parachute operations will begin over top of the Buckeye Airport in five minutes. One one thousand and below. Do not overfly Buckeye or east side of the field. Buckeye traffic. I'm sorry, Zach. What was that call? Well, if you look down here on your right, it looks like there's kind of an uh, airfield down here. Yeah. Uh, we're five minutes below. Uh, I think that's a private strip down there. I've never been in that one. But if we lost an engine, they could stick it down on that runway down there. Right, right. Okay. Starting to relax a little bit more now, or are you still kind of hyper, I imagine? No, I'm a little more relaxed now. Okay, good. It takes a while. about 35 minutes and it only takes us about five minutes or so to get back. Let's go out here and try a couple more turns and kind of relax for a while. Yeah. <laughs> if we can. And if you want to go back, sure, we can go back too. It's not a big deal. Right there, and look out, you'll see the airport out there. 
might take me a while to find Buckeye it. Buckeye area traffic parachute operations will open again over top of the Buckeye airport in two minutes. For 1,000 and below, do not overfly Buckeye or east side of the field. Buckeye traffic. Notice how the nose came up on you? Yeah. <laughs> That's that pusher configuration. That was a little too much, I think. Yeah. Just... Oh, we'll hold it here for a while. We'll just keep coming down. And we're trying to shoot for about 2,000 on the altimeter. So we're we got a ways to go to get beyond the 2,000, so we just keep going the way you are. All right. It seems to fly completely different with less power. Yeah. Well, we're flying at 50 miles an hour now. And the nose, of course, wants to come up because there's no power on it. So you probably have to hold the nose down a little bit. Well, approach speed is around 50, and that's about what you're doing, so you're... This will be about the approach for landing when we come in. Okay. Then don't we have to go around to the land? Yeah, we're going to go beyond the airport by where the freeway is out there and make a couple right turns and land the way we took off, okay? All right. Look, I traffic Challenger sub Bobble Whiskey. We're about two miles to the southwest uh, on kind of a 45 for runway 17, full stop, Buckeye. And when we get to about 2,000, we'll put some more power in and uh, fly at about your 54, 5,500 RPM, and that'll hold us uh, at our altitude. Pattern altitude is about 2,000. So Coming up to 2,000 now, so you can add a little bit of power if you want. Buckeye area traffic parachute operations have begun on top of the Buckeye Airport. One 1,000 feet below, do not overfly Buckeye or east side of the field. Bob this will jump in about three to four minutes. One 4,000 Buckeye. And we're going to need a little bit more than that. Uh, probably somewhere around 5,000 RPM. That should hold us. Now come in a little bit more to the right. We'll get a little closer to the runway. There's a bird right underneath us here. Look at traffic. Challenger said Bob Whiskey entering the downwind for runway 17, full stop. Buckeye.
Buckeye Trail for Challenger is still probably whiskey in midfield down, waiting for 1 7. Full stop, Buckeye. Not much. We're just going to run parallel to the runway. We're driving. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right. All right, I've got it. I'll take it from here. How's that? All right, okay. Just unlock that throttle and just make sure it's unlocked. Yeah, good. Good deal. Thank you. Back there? Yes, I can. Uh, as long as it's unlocked. <laughs> okay. It's unlocked. All right. Good deal. Fuck our traffic challenger. So Bravo whiskey to your right base for one seven full stop. Fuck that. We're high, so we'll just take some power off. Buckeye traffic, Challenger, so Bravo Whiskey turning final, one seven Buckeye. I'm going to kill a little bit of altitude here. So I'm going to kind of fly crooked here for a little bit. Knock off a little bit of altitude. Trying to land uh, in the middle of the field is basically where we're going. Let me get lined back up here in the right line there. Brakes. Uh, we're okay. Uh, the brakes. We got to still go. Buckeye area traffic, additional parachute operations are beginning on the top of the Buckeye Airport, 14,000 feet below, do not overfly Buckeye or east side of the field, Buckeye traffic. Alright, if you want to take it, go ahead and take it back to the hangar. You got the throttle and the uh, uh, steering with the pedals, so the next one you'll want to make a left turn. Awkward. So I've had pilots uh, say, boy, I don't know if I like this, you know, because uh, all the wind. Well, yeah, yeah, Ed, because it's like jostling me around, yeah. and uh, I'm not used to that. <laughs> all right, so you just veer to the right a little bit, and then back to the left. Or see where that flag is on the full? We're going to just go by that flag. It's right up there. See it? So, yeah. It's kind of or are we going to oh, go yeah. over there? Yeah, I'm going to wander here to the right and wander back to the left. Let me go around that last airplane in front of the flagpole. And, uh, you've got it. I think I like it underground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit choppy today. It was. I just follow this around to the right. We're the uh, second hangar group there, and uh, you'll see our cars as you come around. What I, I usually stop and, uh, with the right wing into the hangar, uh, facing into the hangar. Next, next group. Next group. Yeah, yeah. Our cars are not here, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll see our cars as you come around, or trucks. And then, like I say, just bring it past there and uh, put that right wing in the middle of the hangar and stop.
try not to hit your truck. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I, I have had guys hit their trucks already, so watch that wing out there as you come by. Yeah. Look, I area traffic here, man. Nine or eight, two, nine, Bravo. We're about two and a half uh, miles to the northwest of Buckeye, entering a right base. Right. One stop in the full stop, Buckeye. Perfect. Now just reach up and turn off the key. And then hit that master switch over there, and you're good to go. <laughs> All right, I'll get you out of here. Boy, that was an adrenaline rush this whole <laughs> way. Yeah, you're a lightweight, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I'll get you here. There you go. Now you can get out. Without too much trouble probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh boy. Alright. Well I was <laughs> terrified actually. <laughs> I tried to keep it under. Well, you did okay. I mean, you didn't seem to be that. I didn't know it. I mean, you seem to be pretty well under control. <laughs>